Hi everyone, it's Alex Ritz, Certified Professional Dog Trainer, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about pointy-headed puppies. What to do if your puppy seems to have a point on the back of their head. First off, that point is present in all dogs, just not as pronounced in some. It's located right on the back of their skull here, and you can feel it even though mine's fluffy and you can't see it, um, right at the back of their skull in the middle, and it's called an occiput. Some people refer to it as a knowledge bump, an intelligence knot, a variety of different names, but all in all, it's an occiput, that point on the back of their skull. Would you like to come back here, boys? <gasps> Good job! Some dogs, like I said, boxers, labs, German shepherds, those are some that have sometimes a more pronounced occiput and can make their head look like very cone shaped or pointy as a puppy. And a lot of times, because of the awkwardness of it, it's, you know, a potential worry, a potential reason why we're concerned about our puppy's growth and development. Uh, first off, if you're getting a puppy from a responsible breeder or responsible rescue, they should have no problem with you asking to you know, have the puppy evaluated by a veterinarian you trust before you purchase that puppy. Secondly, the oxyput, like I said, is present in all dogs. And in most cases, a pronounced oxyput is not going to cause problems. Uh, it'll be part of the awkward growth stages that puppies grow through. Um, and it's not actually going to mean there's a problem. If there is a problem, uh, typically there's other signs. So not just a pointy head, but also some muscle pain, jaw pain, that kind of stuff. Um, one of the more common reasons why a pronounced occiput would be associated with that pain and everything like else, like that problem is a condition often shortened to MMM and it is masticatory muscle myositis. And that basically means that the muscles in your dog's jaw, which wrap around to the back of their head here, are inflamed and atrophied in some cases. It's an autoimmune condition where a dog's body starts to attack its own jaw muscles. And when it first is attacking the own muscles, they become very inflamed and swollen. That can sometimes lead to a more pronounced bump back here. Typically dogs going through that will have pain with opening their jaw. They won't want to open their mouth. They'll be just in a lot of pain to touch any of the muscles around here. And then as that disease progresses, it can lead to, like I said, the atrophy. And because of everything that wraps around our dog's skull and attaches back here, if our dogs have a lot of atrophy, wasting of the muscle and everything like that, then it can also look more pronounced because those muscles aren't present there anymore. It's a very painful condition. If your dog has any signs of that, you should always take them to a veterinarian for further evaluation. Um, but in a puppy that simply has a pointy head and not a lot of other stuff going on, especially in a breed, like I said, a boxer, a lab, a shepherd, something that's a little more predisposed to that, um, typically it's not, you know, a, a cause for concern. Like I mentioned earlier, sometimes that bump is referred to the intelligence bump, knowledge knot, different names like that, combinations of those. And that falls back to an old wives tale that the bigger the bump on the back of your dog's head, the bigger brain room they have and the smarter they are. That is a wives tale. You should not pick your puppy based on the size of their oxyput. Uh, you should pick your puppy based on, you know, characteristics that they display that make them a good fit for you and for your family. Um, but you might run across that, especially in, you know, certain circles of dog training where that is especially prevalent. But again, it's not anything that's usually a cause for concern unless there's additional you know problems like that pain or swelling or that kind of stuff and it's also not an indication of your dog's intelligence just a natural part of your dog's structure that can be different in each and every breed for more tips and tricks check us out at houndgames.com and don't forget to hit subscribe